hello everybody good evening uh, so we are very happy today uh, to be in this uh, village of Uttukuru near uh, Nelur uh, where all day uh, many farmers uh, witness the harvest in uh, our uh, Krishna Redigaru's uh, pond. Uh, this is as uh, we have already uh, discussed, this is uh, nothing uh, new or rather we are just uh, uh, reinitiating something which before uh, 30, 35 years uh, we just left because uh, of some reason like availability of the quality seed, establishment of hatcheries. But if you see uh, in the historically, uh, this is uh, India's uh, uh, native species, uh, Indian white shrimp we call. And uh, this has got very good potential, much far uh, better than any other uh, uh, species except for the monodon. But uh, this is the species which uh, was bred in India quite in the 80s uh, by uh, the institute like ICAR, CMFRI. And a lot of things like uh, uh, in situ, uh, like uh, artificial insemination, the captive breeding, and many things were standardized. So recently, our institute has taken this mission to uh, uh, start the, uh, the genetic improvement program. As uh, my deputy director general have already briefed, uh, this genetic improvement program of any species take uh, some years. But the background for this, uh, which is required, uh, like a whole genome sequencing. Nowadays, uh, because of the genomic selection and say, some other selection, we can select it very fast. We can take the attribute or the characteristics which, uh, which describe its growth or resistance very clearly at the genetic level. And uh, SIBA is the first institute. We have already deciphered the whole genome sequence of this species. This is very, very positive uh, thing. So we know where uh, we need to do little intervention to go faster in the genomic selection. And we have developed several uh, uh, model of uh, farming uh, monoculture or polyculture, or uh, this is also, we have also proved that this is the species which is uh, which you can put in a RAS, which you can put in high density in a bioflock system. So many, many positive things. And in the polyculture, its performance along with other uh, fin fish species also is uh, we have uh, worked upon. And we have improved its uh, breeding and seed production, captive breeding, uh, uh, this one, and uh, the artificial insemination. All these aspects uh, has been studied well. And just, just because for the facilities, as you know, India, in many things, we, we, we start a little late. So the facility that uh, kind of biosecured uh, nuclear uh, breeding facility is required that we got uh, recently. And uh, so we are working on how to develop, you know, each generation will have 5 to 7 percent genetic gain. And uh, the base level of growth uh, is uh, such that here, we don't need to go many generations. With even few generations, if we pass, we are definitely uh, overshoot many other uh, species which are uh, SPF uh, or the genetically improved species available here. Because here, some species like Venamai, pre-improvement, uh, if you see, the uh, it was uh, 10 to 12 gram in 100 days. But here itself, we are finding in 90 to 100 days, even before uh, the improvement program, we are getting good seed. But the condition is here, we are very strict about that, the quality of the seed and what quality seed we are giving, what quality broodstock uh, should be used for the seed production and uh, the uh, clean seed, that is the uh, uh, best thing which can be provided with clean seed. And other positive aspect, which uh, my uh, friend said with everybody, Krishna Reddy Garu, that he, this is having, because this is a tropical species, it has got very good potential to withstand a little higher level of stress, including the hypoxic stress. Here the oxygen requirement is uh, quite less and you save money in that regard. And the feed also, what is his trial says that even the low cost feed, low protein feed, you can uh, do for some time. And the interesting part of this culture where we achieved uh, almost like 20.5 gram in 93 days is uh, if you see varying the first month of growth almost every time it is the average daily growth which is the standard for evaluating uh, the performance evaluation of any species is almost like above 0 0.3, 0 0.3 gram above 
it's uh, it's really very very uh, tremendous uh, uh, achievement that way he achieved he didn't use any uh, uh, money for uh, mineral addition or for probiotics or not many chemicals and this one he used but still the average uh, daily growth was uh, above 0.3 from 30 days onward or uh, 40 days onward so that is really a very good thing and with only our uh, uh, selected or clean seed we are able to achieve this and uh, I am sure with our genetic improvement program which we have initiated if we go throw like three to four generation and uh, the broodstock available with throw BMC, it will be far better than any other contemporary species which is uh, there in this one. And not that we want to replace any species, but we need our uh, farmers definitely, they deserve uh, more diversification, more diversified species. In that regard, this is a baby step uh, towards the, in that direction. Thank you so much and wish you all the best.